Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Puzzle Agent. So I've been looking at this for about 5 minutes now. This puzzle is harder. I haven't used a hint or anything, but this puzzle is much harder. So what I can gather is that Bernie worked 8 hours, Popped worked 3, and Iggy worked from 6 till he was relieved, and Al has no specified time. So that means Al couldn't have worked 8 hours since only Bernie put it in. So he must have worked 7 or less. So what I'm thinking happened was that Al worked from midnight to 6. Iggy took over at 6 and worked until 1. Bernie worked from 1 to 9 using his 8 hours and then Pop worked his last 3 hours until midnight. Which would mean since Pop was the last one and he's saying boom, this makes sense because if he heard the boom he would have been working. And it was before the last shift. So, it would have happened at 8. I think. I don't want to use hints unless I get it wrong first. Please tell me it actually happened at 8. Oh, thank God. That was hard. That was much harder than the other one. If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Hmm, good point. Maybe they grew back. Okay, goodbye. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you may be able to help me with. Oh? Oh. Okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. I'll meet you at the moose here in a bit. Why do I have this weird feeling that everyone's in on something that I'm not in on? Hmm. Just a feeling. Although the snowmobiles look like they'd be fun. Because I have to go here. I guess I'm going to have to visit all these places eventually. Okay. Oh, Ned Flanders is up here fixing a sign. Just looks at me and I look at him. And then our hands touched and we can feel our feelings collide. <clears throat> Excuse me, I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Oakley, Oakley. Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. What? Okay. Something wrong with your sign? Well, clearly. Uh, I said, is there something wrong with you, a cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not oh a my cop. God, Ned Flanders, what Look, the hell? I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark. You know what I mean. I don't know. What I you don't mean. actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in my head. Whoa! What? Whispers? Ned Flanders Get the is fuse God for me. To you yet? I'm getting cold out here. The repairman is grabbing which fuse he needs to use, even though he coded them, so he wouldn't select the fuse that completes the sequence. Oh, I think I've seen this puzzle before somewhere. Okay, just in case you're not aware. One, two, three, four. I think I've seen that puzzle somewhere. Maybe in RuneScape. <laughs> Rejected. It's like, oh shit. Yeah, I've seen this puzzle somewhere before. I know it. This is definitely the answer. Did you just do? That should do it. it took me 75 hey, grand to get what do you ideas. know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. What little buggers? Little, what? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign mounted. See you later. Well, I'm very concerned we'll about see. you not wanting to be out after dark and keep using the sign to keep the buggers I away. I don't suppose... Don't suppose... It. Okay, well, let's Did you? through all this. Yep. So, where can I find her? Inside. Oh, okay. That was a long Goodbye. Time. Jeez. Okay. 
Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk to the sheriff last. These guys don't look too uh, thrilled to see me. That guy doesn't even look thrilled at all. Everyone's supposed to be bald in this game. All the men, at least. Except for, like, the sheriff and, um... Big game scene. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere else to go! Oh, that's great. Then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? Daryl's famous insolent question has gone AWOL. Box them back up again by string lines between adjoining points, keeping these rules in mind. Close all the bugs using the fewest number of lines. A box can be any size, but it must be four-sided. Bugs of the same kind can share a box. Each green grass grazer needs three squares of territory. Each pink puddle paddler needs two. Pink puddle paddler, pink puddle paddler, pink puddle paddler. Let me just read those rules one more time. Okay. So you two can share this box piece. One, two, three. One, two, three. This gives you guys one, one, two, one, two. This gives you guys just as much space. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two three, one two three, one two, one two, one two three, one two three. I think that's right. Make sure I got everything closed in. Let's see if that's correct. Oh good, accepted. Bugs in boxes. I think I'm just gonna Look at that! He did it! Yes. Now, will you answer my sure. these answers? You two are employed at the factory. As safe as any other place, I guess. No. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna speed through this because I don't know how. You mentioned something about spirits in the forest. Okay, this, really? this is something. Depends on who you ask. You won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither. But there ain't no spirits. Do you guys know what happened to the Yeah! The lobster bit him! Shut what? up, Daryl. What do you mean, a lobster bit him? He means Mike Lobb. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter than all of us floor guys. Hell, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy don't make him smart. Uh, what do you know about the guy fixing the, the sign man. outside? Randall Scruffman. Weird guy. He thinks the trees Ned talk Flanders. to him. God, yeah, get it but right. he sure picked the right line of work. He's gonna be employed forever. Stuff always needs fixing. I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to Glory. She's the waitress here. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. Okay. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Hi there. I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. Sir, you seem stressed. Do you Everyone know something about the game. factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. Yeah, I'm into some stuff. Who are so, you? So, what's your name? Steve. Sir, I'm here <laughs> about the factory. Steve. If you've got nothing to do with it, then however you spend your time doesn't concern me. Factory. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. Stuff. What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. With what? birds. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? Loner Steve trains birds to transport freight. Tonight's shipment just departed, but Steve forgot to note the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? 
Each set of bird has a certain weight limit. Each bird shown is carrying the maximum amount it can. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what he can. Freight must be balanced between the, two, the, the bird's two legs. Okay, so... This bird here is carrying two gnomes, and he's alone. So that means the maximum weight that they can carry is two. Which means he can carry one in this package and one in this package. Which means he can carry two in this package. And since he can only carry one in one, there has to be two in this package, which means there's two connected to him and two connected to him in this package. So there's four in here, three here, three here, one here, one here, two here. I think that's how it would work. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think that's correct. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Please, please, please be accepted. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I still have no wrong answers and no hints. Used. But everything costs another grand. puzzle solved. Everything costs seventy-five Excuse grand. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, Miss Waitress Lady. Welcome to the Moosier Diner. I'll be right with you. Oh wow. Can I help you with that? She seems distraught. By the puzzle of food, she's preparing to serve fit all the food items on the plate in such a way that none of them overlap to get her attention. Oh. Um. Whoa. Hey, I want to get the carrot. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that, actually. Is that... Oh, yeah, they're all connected, so that's gotta be right. Nick. That one wasn't too hard. Although that dish looks disgusting. The fish wasn't even cooked. Again. Choppy. There you go. Delicious. How? Thanks. How is that so, delicious? So, uh, what's good here? I don't know. It's all fine. Oh, okay. What's your name? Lori Davner. Oh. Lori Davner. <laughs> so, I'm Nelson. Davner. Are you feeling okay? Yes. Isn't the foreman Isaac no. Davner? No. I'm just thinking about my husband. Is what's husband wrong Isaac with your Davner? husband, ma'am? Is he okay? He will be. He will well, be. I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. Factory. An accident at the eraser factory caused it to shut down. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident like everyone says. The factory foreman, Isaac Davner. He was your husband? Oh, okay, yes, it was. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. What? For? Just so proud. Whoa. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on here. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? Oh no. Ned Flanders would never he do would that, except for fly. when he was Satan in the Simpsons. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah. People tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but... I've been pretty distracted. I see that. I'm sure you have. 
Let's try this. When these three couples walked into the dining, Glory thought she knew what each would order. She was wrong, and now she's forgotten what gets what. Here's what she does recall. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their sp What? How would any of these resemble their spouse? One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. The ham plate should be set down to the next sit down next to the banana split. Oh. Okay, so it said It said One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. So it can't be you because she's fish and that no one ordered a meal like their spouse. And it said the lady next to the fishing man, so it couldn't be... Well, it could be you. But... One lady ordered a meal was having the fishing man sitting next to her. Because it said one lady. I doubt he would give me that if it wasn't like a cho choice between two. Okay. Um. Only one person resembles his or her meal. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish and the man sitting next to her. So, if he ordered the fish and they ordered something that resembles him, which would be the onion ring since he looks like an onion, She's a spouse and they never ordered anything. That means the onions go to her. Um, so she's the ham and she can't have the ham. Fish is already taken, so that's fine. He wouldn't order the turkey because she's the rooster. And she wouldn't order the burger because he's supposed to be like a buffalo or a cow. Only one person has a meal that looks like themselves. Hmm. But the ham has to go next to the Sunday. That means the Sunday and ham have to go with these three because there's no room for it over here. might have it, but I'm going to put it here for now. He can't order this, so she'll have to have it. So if he has his own meal, then he has that. Submit. Please be right, please be right, that one was hard. Ah, oh, thank you. Dinner and dishes. That wasn't so tough. Yeah, I that, guess not. That was harder than Could I have a bit actually. more of your time, ma'am? Sure. No, I already asked her everything. Let's talk Hello, to him Sheriff. Then. Agent Ted. Yeah, listen, I wanted to ask you. No time. I got a hunch about the factory. Oh. I got security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Ooh, good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the right order. Why did you do what? that? Why would you do that? Yeah, exactly. You know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence. What? Okay, well, there's a car and three of them, so clearly this is the last photo. This guy's going to his car, so that's the second last photo. There's no footprints in front of this guy. So that's the first photo. Yep, submit. There you go. That one was easy. That was easy. A security screw up? No, that was the sheriff screw up. Why the hell would he mix it and go like, you this know? This should clear things up. Yeah, yeah. That seems about right. Looks like the last one out was Mike Lobb. 
Oh, and you he think he might have had something guy. to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Spence? Lake he's Spence. not working. He's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. Got it. No, wait. Do what to a what? Catch some fish. Oh, he's so got himself a, a bright orange vest. Can't rod. miss him. Anyway, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. All right, let's talk. What let's do you speed through all this dialogue? Because I have to end the episode. Factory what? workers. Sesame Woods. What? Goodbye. I. All righty. So I'm fixing my little hand, looking up at the sign and seeing that the guy's gone now. So that's a bit strange. Where'd he go? What is that? Is that a, is that a gnome? I've dealt with gnomes twice in this game already. So is that a gnome? What is that? Did I just pull out a gun? I'm a puzzle agent. I don't actually have a gun. Okay, so gnomes must be the things that lurk in the darkness that the sign guy was scared of and that everyone says are spirits of the forest. But why was that guy delivering them via bird carriers? And the snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. Hotel For a second, I thought I saw... It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm on my way to question sure Mike Lobb at the ice fishing huts. But to get there, I have to go through Sassamy Woods. Come that on, doesn't sound dangerous over. at all. Okay, game saved. Taxpayer caught. Oh my god. How many. How many missions are there? Oh well, anyways. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Puzzle Agent, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles, everyone.